Well, hello, Midgardians. I'm Thor Odinson, the mighty god of thunder, here in Asgard in my throne room here, ready to bring to you the top 10 war offense teams in all of Marvel Strike Force. And I should know, because I am part of two of the best defensive teams in all of Marvel Strike Force, and I must say, I'm the best part of both of those teams. So, mortals, if you're ready to count down with me, grab your Mjolnirs, or whatever you use to take into battle, and let's go smash it! Alley flying! Yo, what is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying, aka the God of Thunder. Welcome to the Valley Flying channel. I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are talking about the top 10 war offense teams in all of Marvel Strike Force for fall of 2020. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to see more Marvel Strike Force content, make sure you click on that subscribe button and make sure you click on that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video goes up. And if you've been here before and you've seen any of these lists before, you've noticed that it's been expanded. It used to be top five on offense, used to be top five on defense. And last week, we broke down the top eight war defense teams and the reason for that is because there are eight rooms that you need to fill so uh they're the top eight in that one and if you haven't checked that out make sure you check out that video but in this video we're expanding the top five war offense to the top 10 war offense because in a normal war well you're normally using 10 teams unless you're screwing up in attacks and buying that pack of shame then you might use a few other teams so we're going to talk about the top 10 list and we're also going to give you some honorable mentions because there may be some overlap with some of these defensive teams and uh, disclaimer guys we're not discussing a lot of these hybrid teams because there's a lot of great hybrid teams out there a lot of these teams have Ultron on it and uh I'm, they're not going to make the list but we will talk about them we're applicable but uh without further ado guys let's get into the countdown and start with number 10 number 10 and coming in at that number 10 spot, ladies and gentlemen, is the first family of the Marvel Universe. One of the first war offense teams that we got in the game. Now, they've fallen off a little bit since then, but the Fantastic Four is still a very, very good war offense team. Maybe they're not able to take out some of these meta teams that we discussed last week in the top eight war defense teams, but they're still very, very good and able to punch up against some big meta uh, me big non-meta teams out there let's go take a look at the breakdown from msf.gg shout out to ty j and pim Toxie for making this list and if we take a look at this collection power this is my fantastic four team right here and this is who they could punch up against now uh, i see a lot of questions sometimes on what is a punch up punch down well punch up is when you're going against a team with a stronger collection power than you punch down is when you're going against a team with a weaker collection power than you so they can punch up against the non emma frost version of the marauders a pretty decent punch up pretty big punch up against the sinister six without dr octopus some pretty big ones there huge huge punch up against the defenders if you're still seeing that on defense bkt tech nerva they take them all out safe with the hero brawlers able to do some pretty big punch ups now they can beat some of these meta teams but you're gonna have to go against some weaker meta teams they can't punch up against these teams like the asgardians like the emma rodders like the black order like the colson shield fury team the mercs and the She-Hulk version of the Fantastic Four. So not not where they once were in terms of the meta, but still making that top 10 and still highly, highly recommended for some of these other teams in case you're still seeing them on war defense. Number nine. Coming in into number nine spot is the 2.0 version of this Brotherhood team, Magneto, Juggernaut, Blob, Toad, and Pyro. And yes, this team just got a little bit of a boost when Blob and Toad were introduced. They kind of fallen out of the meta before the introduction of Blob and Toad, but now, back in the meta able to take out a couple of the meta teams not as much as some of these other teams that are in the top five but still very very worthy still worth of it's still worthy of building and using your resources on this team but let's go take a look and see who they are able to counter they were designed to take out 
Fury, Colson Shield. Uh, they, they fell out of the meta a little bit when Colson came into the game, but back in the meta with Blob and Toad, and even without Blob, it's not as strong of a punch up, but even with Sabretooth in this spot, if you want to run a hybrid version of the Marauder team with Blob in there instead of Sabretooth, still able to work. Uh, also able to take out Tech Nerva, which can be a very, very tricky team. Big punch ups against Tech Nerva as well. And a few of the other meta teams, we've got the Avengers down here that they are able to punch up against slightly. Now, they're able to punch down against some very, very strong teams like the Mercs. You're gonna have to go against the weaker Mercs for this team to work. And Hydra, it's, there's this, so they are able to take out a few meta teams, a uh, little more than the Fantastic Four, but yeah, very, very good team. But let's see who else is on this list. Number eight. And coming in at the number eight spot for fall of 2020 is Hydra 2.0. And pretty much this team is based on Zemo. If you got a very strong Zemo, you could do some pretty big punch ups. If the rest of your team is strong and Zemo is very weak, well, this team does not work very well. And I know a lot of people are using hybrid teams with Zemo on other teams and allowing to the punch up against even more meta teams. But uh, just talking about Hydra 2.0, I've seen a lot of characters that go into this fifth spot. I have Kingpin in here right now, but Drax works well vision works well uh i'm using vulture in mind just because he doesn't really have a spot like i said the most power on this team should be with zemo and that is going to determine how much you could punch up against some of these other teams but let's go take a look at who they could counter right now and if we look my hydra 2.0 not very strong my zemo is strong but the rest of the team not super strong they are able they are they're designed to counter hydra 1.0 the red skull version of the hydra i mean that battle is so easy you could get some pretty big punch ups with that zemo just wrecks that entire team and i don't even know if you need winter soldier crossbones or hydra grenadier to take out this red skull team they're also able to take out the uh, the colson fury shield team if people are still running that i know some people are running hybrids with uh, fury colson with some of the inhumans and uh, or or colson uh, with the wave one avengers but this team very very strong also able to punch up slightly against the merc so this is a very good team but like i said guys a lot of it is based on zemo so build them up and this team will shine and give you some pretty big punch ups number seven and coming in at that number seven spot, ladies and gentlemen, is the Power Armor team, the very first war offense team in Marvel Strike Force. Now, they did get Ironheart to make them a complete team. I know a lot of people were running Vision in this uh, fifth spot for a little while till we got Ironheart in the game, but she makes this team so much better with her defense up that she does on turn two, ability to block on turn one, and the rest of the team just works so well. Now, I know a lot of people are splitting up this team, making hybrids of this team. I know the Ultron version of this team is able to punch up against the Emma Rotters. Uh, there's some other hybrid teams do with uh, power armor, but just straight up power armor. Let's go see who they are able to counter boom the marauders the non emma frost version of the marauders able to punch up big and it like i said if you use that uh, ultron version you can punch up the big against the emma marauders as well but the tech nerva team defenders if anyone still runs that it's a huge huge punch up against this team any team actually with ultron if anybody's using ultron on defense Falcon is a hard counter to Ultron. Also, the Wave 1 Avengers, the Guardians, and the Young Avengers able to get some huge punch-ups with this team. But they're also able to counter some of these other meta teams. Not really punching up. There's a lot of RNG involved with the power armor, but they can punch down, seriously punching down against Hydra 1.0 with the Red Skull. They can take out the Emma Rotters with a punch down. It's not a, it's not, a, there is a lot of RNG involved, but... You can win that battle. Same with the Asgardians. Same with the Doc Ock version of the Sinister Six, the Marauders, and yeah, the She-Hulk version of the Fantastic Four. Number six. Now coming in at the number six spot is the Inhumans. And in my opinion, this is one of the better war offense teams in Marvel Strike Force. The thing is, the, the team that they're designed to counter people aren't really building that team up a lot. So there's not a lot of need for the Inhumans right now, but 
I know a lot of people, including myself, are running this team on defense. Black Bolt, Yo-Yo, Crystal, along with Fury and Colson. I ran into that a few wars, and uh, it was just a very tricky team to beat. You can counter that team, but I know a lot of people are shifting this team to defense. But if you're still running this team on offense, well, they can counter a lot of great teams out there. Let's go take a look. Boom, the first is the Red Skull version of the Hydra team, and you can get some pretty big punch-ups with there. Black Bolt seems like he was designed as a hard counter to Red Skull. As Guardians will fall, not as much confidence in this uh, matchup, but they can be beaten by the Inhumans. We got the Tech Nerva here. We have the Shield Colson Fury, if you're still seeing that a lot on defense. We have the Wave 1 Avengers, and yeah, Ultron. Black Bolt was designed as a hard counter to Ultron, so able to uh, counter that uh, character right there. Now, Marauders, the Emma Marauders, you need to punch down against them, but you can beat them. Again, not huge confidence, but uh, it's it's possible. You need some RNG in your favor. The Mercs, they can take out the Mercs, but again, you're punching down against a weaker version of the Mercs. The Doc Ock Sinister Six, this new Wave 1 Avengers with Coulson, they're able to punch down slightly against that team as well. So, uh, you got some good matchups here, and the Inhumans, they can take out some pretty good teams teams on war defense number five Dr. Octopus and the Sinister 16 coming in at number five on the war offense. Now, this is the first team that was also on that war defense list. So you could use them. They're very strong in either way you want to use them because this is a team that has war bonuses, not war offense, not war defense, but war bonuses. So you could take them either way. And if you're running these guys on offense, they could counter some pretty big teams, some meta teams out there. Let's go take a look. Oh, and the first one that you can counter with some pretty high confidence, if we see it here, is the Mercs. Your Doc Ock Sinister Six can counter the Mercs, punching up with a pretty decent amount of uh, punch up there. The She-Hulk version of the Fantastic Four, if you're seeing that a lot on War Defense, and you have a Sinister Six with a Doc Ock, uh, that is a team that you can use if the power levels are in there. The Emma Rodders, we it's like all the meta teams are here, guys. The Colson Fury Shield is another punch up that they can do, punching up against the Wave 1 Avengers as well. And, oh, they could take out the Black Order as well. Now, they're not able to punch up against the Black Order, but confidence is pretty high that they can take out the uh, Black Order. Now, you got to punch down slightly, but that is that is very, very impressive. And I think a lot of that has to do with Doc Ock's passive. But yes, Sinister Six, very strong offense or defense. It is up to you how you want to use this team. Number four. And one of my favorite teams in all of Marvel Strike Force is coming in at the number four spot this season. It is the Symbiotes. This, this, I use this team every single day, especially with the Parasitic Symbiosis event going on. I'm even using this team in Arena, but they're designed to be a Dark Dimension slash Raid team. But... Very, very good in war as well. A lot of synergy, a lot of stuff going on with this team. Uh, let, let's go take a look at who they countered, though. And they countered some pretty good teams. The Asgardians is who I'm looking for with my symbiotes. They, Greg, he gives them so much turn meter. All you do is keep killing Greg, and you can punch up maybe even more than this. The Doc Ock Sinister Six, they just came in at the number five spot for war offense. They were a very good war defense team. Well, guess what? The symbiotes can take them out, punching up against them as well. And uh, now if, if you have a lot of power in Doc Ock, that can throw things off. So uh, you, you got to pay attention to, to Dr. Octopus. If he's super strong, the rest of the team is weak. You might not be able to punch up as much. So pay attention to the Doc Ock with this Sinister Six team when trying to counter them. And oh, yeah. There's another great strong meta team that they can take out, and that is the Emirators, punching up even more against the Emirators. So very good team, guys. Whether you're using them in raids or Dark Dimension or Arena or War Offense, the Symbios. This is one of the best teams that you can build in Marvel Strike Force right now. Number three. Coming in at number three on the list is the X-Men. Now, there's a few different versions of the X-Men, and what the best version of the X-Men probably is going to be determined by who you are facing. So, as we see here, Colossus, Phoenix, they are the core of this team, but I've also seen some versions with Psylocke, even, even some with Wolverine that are pretty good, depending on who your opponent is and if you got some good red stars on the X-Men. But, yeah, still very, very strong. One of the best teams in the game still, even after over a year of them uh, in the meta. But let's Let's go take a look at who they are able to counter and punch up pretty big against. Boom. And let's talk about this Colston Fury Shield team. They got some big punch up against them. The Asgardians. Yeah, you could you could take out the Asgardians with your X-Men with a punch up as well. The Mercs. 
Yeah, they can take out the mercs. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's in a weird spot in war right now. Uh, I, I, I use her on war offense. I don't really see her that much on war defense, but wave one Avengers, they could take them out. Now, if you're punching down and looking to take out some other meta teams, X-Men can get the job done, but you're not going to be able to punch up against them. The Emma Rodders, yeah, they could beat them. Uh, this is the beast version, but uh, I guess it will depend on who, who you have at, as far as red stars and built up. Uh, Black Order, they could take them out, but you're going to need a serious punch down against the Black Order, big the black order is very very strong sinister six doc Ock, x-men could beat them as well and they can also beat that she hulk version of that fantastic four so yes build up your x-men phoenix cyclops colossus they are they are they're the trio they're the trinity of this team guys and uh you, you can run a lot of different versions of this team but i think the most important characters are going to be phoenix colossus cyclops number two at the number two spot is the x-force and the question is not who can they take out it's who can't they take out there's pretty much only one meta team that they can't take out and a lot of it has to do with negasonic and x-23 a lot of times when i use this team i'm only going negasonic x-23 and that is done domino does not get a turn cable does not get a turn deadpool does not even get a turn so if you're only investing if you have minimal investment invest a lot in negasonic invest a lot in x-23 and you will see some great results on war offense but let's go take a look at all the teams that they can counter and see the one team that they are not a great counter to and if we're taking a look at this team and all the teams that they can counter pretty much all of the meta teams are on this list except for one we got the mercs here you can punch up against the the mercs and the way this battle goes is pretty much negasonic then x23 dead unless you're unless it's kind of an even battle or you're punching up a little too high but a lot of it has to do with negasonic and x23 as guardians you can use them to punch up at the as guardians if you don't have any of the other teams available it's late in war you still have your x forts and you sing an as guardians you don't have your symbiotes or some of these other hard counters to the as guardians x force takes them out they could also take out an emma rodders team one of the scariest war defense teams out there uh sinister six a doc Ock version of the sinister six one of those teams that work great on offense and defense x force just counters them hard counters them wave one avengers yes even bigger punch up another punch up against the colston fury shield team and you can't see them but tech nerva's down here as well so if you're running against tech nerva and you, you don't really need your x force against uh, some of the teams that are still remaining well yeah you can use them against tech nerva some for some pretty big punch ups so yes build this team and like i said especially build negasonic and x23 that's where you want most of your power on this team number one and the one team that the x-force cannot counter are these guys here yes they are the top war defense team also the top war offense team so this is this is a team that you could run either way kind of like that sinister six uh whoever the black order faces they will beat unless uh, there's once in a while there's some rng in there but more often than not black order is beating them if you time that flip of thanos correctly let's go take a look at some of the teams guys as guardians huge punch ups is against the as guardians that no match for the black order and thanos and his empowered state the mercs they could take out the mercs pretty easily uh emma rodders very very important battle and timing of that thanos flip is very important in this battle and as it is with the black order mirror matches because black order they're they're very very scary so you need to you need to time the uh flip of thanos they could also get some big punch-ups against the colson fury shield team the non emma frost version of the marauders and if, if you're still seeing defenders on offense well or on defense well black order you could use a mini black order and punch up pretty big against the uh defenders all right and that is the top 10 ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think of this list a couple honorable mentions that i do want to mention first is a supernatural team now they are able to take out a lot of these meta teams only reason that they came in in the honorable mention spot you're not able to punch up against a lot of these uh, meta teams except maybe the asgardians but uh they can take out the mercs colson fury shield sinister six with doc ock hydra with red skull they could beat all of these teams but uh you're gonna need to face some lower powered versions of this teams except for the asgardians so uh they are worth a mention supernatural is still a very good war offense team and so is the young avengers and again they're not able to punch up against a lot of these meta teams but they can punch down against the mercs asgardians emma rodders the colson fury shield team so they are worth mentioning and before we go a couple of promotions i want to announce from mikey b at worldwide nutrition first is for any existing customers if you leave a review 
on Google. You will be automatically entered to win a drawing for a $25 tune. The winner will be picked on December 15th. And Mikey, he is almost at 10 million total collection power. And once he reaches that, uh, he's going to give away a bunch of subs on the stream, on the live stream, guys, for the Valley Club. So come hang on in the Valley Club. I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know who your top war offense teams are. And I will see you guys next time. Give me a Hulk fist bump before you go. Valley Fly and God of Thunder, out!